I just got in a uh, 40 minute walk holding uh, goal was to hold 15 minute pace again just kind of you know it's nothing that's tiring but I'm just trying to lock in that pace that pace is key for me so 40 minutes uh, doesn't take a lot out of me and I really think it really helps me a lot so I just got that in now I'm going to yoga and I can tell I'm telling you I can tell the difference in my walk pace by getting that stride out a little bit further and it just feels a little easier I don't know if I've shared the story but there was a guy I knew he was my landlord actually when I was in the video business and he told me that he uh, that he only on yoga training was able to go out and run a 10 minute I mean eight minute mile uh, pace uh, 10k and that's always stuck in my head I'm like how is that possible? He said he was doing no aerobic training back then. And I don't even know. I think even back then they didn't even have this uh, yogas that are so hard. You know, maybe they did. But the ones that are, I mean, they're pretty, you know, you you got an aerobic workout going on some of these. They're, they're very difficult. Uh, but anyway, he got out and ran. Yeah, I mean, ran this eight-minute mile pace on yoga training. I'm thinking... It's always been in my head. And so now I'm like, the yoga king, yoga king. I'm going for more yoga training. It's like as much as I can get. And, and I mean, I'm mostly focusing on my walk, but it is definitely improving it a ton. Yeah, I just got done with yoga. And uh, I love this yoga studio I'm in. It's just like just really great energy. I don't know. They're just everybody's so nice. And they're open-minded. Everybody's like open-minded. Um, I have really strong beliefs and in injuries and stuff, and um, I could tell when I was talking to people about their these little naggy injuries they get that they were like listening, which is huge. They weren't like shutting me off, and uh, and we, you know, what's funny is we this this class was specifically made to work on your hips today. It's a beginner class and just for hips, and every time I think like like my hamstrings are my worst where I'm like super stiff in my hamstrings like I could you know only touch part ways down my uh my shin bones and uh nowhere's near my toes and I think oh that's got to be my worst uh you know my worst uh, muscle for stretching well that we worked on the hips today and there's I can't even get into some of these but I mean not even near not even fake getting into them there's like some sort of a thing called the pretzel pose and actually I tried that the other day and it I was not even close to being able to get into it so I can't even imagine what my potential is gonna be you know once for I'm talking about you know speeding up my run speeding up my walk once I can get in the pretzel pose because <laughs> once I can loosen up those hips I think it's gonna make a huge difference I'm really fired up about it and also the guy like he likes you know I told him what I do and uh, I think it's a relatively new studio but I like I was talking about earlier I think I was interviewed on the news and uh, he's like all fired up to put my news clip on his uh, website and I'm like wow that's great uh, so I like when you know people like I don't know anyway it fires me up I'm probably gonna sign a one-year deal with him he's just got to work with me I got all these events coming up that are gonna take you know month I'll be gone for months and uh, two I think two or three months this year with all these couple climbs that take three weeks and change and you know all these events I got going just so far and so I said, hey, I'll, I'll need you to work with me on that one-year deal because <laughs> I ain't going to buy one if, I get, if I'm get if i gone for three months. <laughs> so anyway, and he says, I'll work with you, Bill. <laughs> and I'm talking to the owner, and you know he can. Me and Furley B, we're off to our next workout. I'm actually going to go drop him off at my sister's house, then go up and lift uh, weights. He gets to spend some time with, my, with his little buddy Dash, uh, my sister's dog, and I'm going to go hit the weights. So I'm kind of excited about it. Third workout of the day. Woo! Eye of the day.
workout went a lot better than I was originally thinking. I was really feeling tired this afternoon, but I uh, had a big salad, man. It's amazing how little food, little food, like a big salad, like double chicken, <laughs> a lot of greens, and it fired me up. I had a really, really solid workout tonight, really solid on the weights. It was great. All right. Let's check out the daily calorie count on my fancy calorie log. Uh, 1,793 calories. So I'm under the 1,800 mark. So that means I get a big X again for the day. Look at that. Just completed another week. So that's my fifth week of being like extremely disciplined. Like I said, yesterday was a big binge day. Yesterday was a big binge day. And uh, cause I made my goal weight, the 202. So I had the binge day. So that's part of the program. So I automatically get an X. Otherwise I got to do 1800 calories or less, which I've been sticking with that like, like nails. So I want to tell you something kind of funny. I don't know what this means, but like Conor McGregor, they said when he fought Floyd Mayweather, he weighed in, I forget what their weight was, 155, 156. And he was like 170 when he, uh, you know, when he put all his, his water weight back in and everything. And uh, so, so I fought to get down to this 202. And then I weighed myself today after I had a, a binge day, uh, excuse me, a binge day yesterday and uh and sweated it out by running with three layers on today i was 211 <laughs> so i gotta get down to 200 next week next friday i just gonna be i might have to be i might have to fast two days in a row i don't know but i'm gonna make it i'm gonna make it <laughs> that's a long way to go down though but i'm gonna make it <laughs> have a good night everyone <laughs>